Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So a few videos back, you would have seen that I made the dust inhaler and it has been a great addition to my shop. And in conjunction with my oscillating sander hooked up to a vacuum, there is essentially no dust at all while sanding. Now sanding isn't the greatest and the funnest thing to do in the world and having a hose attached to your oscillating sander kind of makes it worse. Now the reason for that is because this hose, it just keeps getting hooked on the edge of the table and the workpiece that you're sanding on and then you got this power cord too that just keeps getting in the way so in order to fix that problem and make sanding more pleasurable if that's even possible I'm going to build a vacuum hose boom arm that's going to come off my wall and I'm thinking I'm going to incorporate it into a French cleat so it can lift off if I have to, I don't know why I would need to, but just in case I need to, I'm gonna make it removable. So it's gonna to mount to my French cleat wall and it's gonna come out 30 inches. It's gonna have a hinge on it and be another 30 inches and it's gonna come down. And then that way it can articulate to go back and forth so I can move it anywhere I need over my workbench here. And then also it'll be able to fold back up against the wall here. I'll be able to loop the hose up and it'll be out of the way. Before we start this build, I wanna let you guys know that there is a couple ways that you can support me. And the first one is my Amazon store. If you make a purchase on my Amazon store, I'll make a little bit of money that helps me out and plus you guys get something in return. The second way is you could buy me a coffee and unlike Patreon, this is a one-time gift. You don't have to make a monthly pledge you just say I want to buy you one coffee you can do two coffees five coffees ten coffees 20 coffees that'd be pretty awesome if you guys bought me 20 coffees that would be greatly appreciated but yeah you could do that you can just buy me one coffee and that would go a long ways to help this channel I'll leave a link to both of those in the description below so to get started let's head over to the table saw and we'll cut a strip of Baltic birch plywood to six inches wide and the Baltic birch I have it's a five by five sheet so I'm gonna be getting a strip off of it that is six inches by five feet. Next, we're gonna cut a taper to this, and I'm thinking I'm gonna go two inches all the way up to, well, full width, which is six inches here. And this is purely cosmetic. It's not needed. I just figured it's gonna look nicer than having just a straight piece of wood. We're gonna cut it in half so we can slap one of these strap hinges on there. So I went into my drawer and I found every single hole saw that I own. And I'm gonna drill a hole starting with my biggest, which is a four inch. I'm gonna go all the way down till I drill my smallest, which is a three quarter inch hole. I'm gonna do this cause it's gonna lighten it up a bit. Not that weight is an issue, but it's gonna lighten it up and it's gonna make it look a lot less chunky. So let's mark it all the holes and drill away. So next we're gonna add a round over to all of this and it's purely cosmetic as well. You don't need to do this if you're making one for yourself. I think the bit that I'm using is just a quarter inch. So should we do that? Yeah, right on, let's do this. Next we have to make a bracket for our French cleat wall. And it's gonna be pretty simple. It's just gonna be a French cleat for the top and the bottom and then a piece of plywood screwed to it. And then we'll screw our hinge to that so that our arm can articulate off of it. I'm just gonna use some scrap Baltic birch plywood that I happen to have laying around. I just have a piece of three quarter inch and a piece of half inch. And I think that's gonna be enough to make this bracket.
Next, we need to attach the arm to the bracket, and we're just gonna use two two and a half inch hinges to do that. Now we just need to put it up on the wall and see how it moves. Okay. Whoop. Oh, there's an easy fix for that. Okay, so I have it mounted and as you guys saw, it fell off as soon as it kind of went to this point. It just wanted to tip and fall off. Three screws fixed that problem. I mean, this is not really a big deal, but I noticed as it comes out, it's not perfectly level. And that's because there's some play in the hinges, but I'm okay with that, it's good enough. I just need to hold the hose while I'm sanding. That's all it needs to do. I'm okay with it not being level. Next, we're gonna fasten the hose to the arm. And I want it to be removable because I want to be able to use it to vacuum the floor and stuff. So I'm thinking we'll take the steel rod, we'll cut it up into sections and we'll bend a little hook into it and then we'll drill a hole up into the bottom of the arm. I'm going to hopefully make the hole a little bit smaller than the diameter of this rod and we can just hammer them in. The hose has these little ribs on it, fits in there quite nicely in between one of the ribs so I think it's going to hold it perfect and it'll be easy to take it off when I need to. I think I'm just going to cut them into six and a half inch long pieces and I'm just going to use my break and entering tools to cut this. To bend this into a hook shape is actually pretty simple. I just found this piece of gas pipe and I'm using this thick part right here to bend it because it works out to be the, the perfect diameter for my hose. And I'm just using these uh, pipe wrenches and I'm just pinching it, holding it, and I'm just working my way around the pipe until I have a hook. And this wire, it bends pretty easy. One more little bend, I think. It springs back just a little bit, so I'm just gonna give it one little push and then there. Here's the hook. And it's a little bit cockeyed, so just put it in the back of the vise here. Hammer straight, and we have a nice hook. I made six hooks, but I'm gonna to try to get away with only using four. We'll see how that goes. And if your hole's not perfectly straight, that's okay. You can bend the wire to make it look straight, even though it's not in a straight hole. I don't think I need any glue in there. I was thinking about epoxying them in, but seeing how tight they fit, I doubt they're gonna fall out. And if they ever do, I can always put some epoxy in there. All right, let's put that back up there and see how it holds the hose. I'm not sure how much I need. So this is gonna work out perfect. I actually only needed three hooks. I removed the one that was right here because it was stopping it from wanting to articulate. By removing that one hook, it allows for that hose to kind of get pushed out out of the way. And plus, I noticed when it was fully extended from going from this hook to that hook, it wasn't even touching. So I'm like, well, it doesn't even need to be there. But it works out quite well. It'll fold up and go up, up against the wall somewhat. It does want to spring back because of the hose. I also could just swing it out of the way like this and that would be fine too. To hold the hose up and out of the way, I simply took an extra hook that I made and I put a 90 degree bend in the end and then I drilled a hole into the arm and I hammered it in and it holds the hose perfectly. So I was having a hard time trying to figure out how to keep this from just wanting to swing out on its own because the wall is not very plumb. So what I did was I added a rare earth magnet here and one on the inside of the arm as well and it just, clips in place and it stays. That works out quite well, I'm really happy with that. It can't obviously hug the wall tight enough because the hose will want to push it out. This is the best that I can do and I'm happy with that. Cool. So that is it for this video guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm really happy with how it turned out. It could have been a little bit better. I, for one, I probably could have used a better hinge. Like this hinge has a lot of slop in it and also the plywood too. Like once I go out to here, I can actually see the plywood is actually wanting to twist. I'm not sure if drilling the holes took some of the strength from the plywood away. It made it lighter, that's for sure. But overall, it's gonna do what I want it to do. It's gonna keep the hose up and out of the way, not dragging over the edge of the table, getting hooked on stuff. So I think that's a win for me. 
And if you're new to my channel, I encourage you to hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you never miss when I upload a new video. And like always, we'll see you in the next one.